This is State Senator Tom Bennett with an update on Friday, June 15th. This week, two of my bills that I sponsored were officially signed into law by the governor. I originally filed Senate Bill 1468 to give schools a new tool to help fight the statewide teaching shortage. This legislation allows retired teachers to accept employment as teachers for up to 120 days or 600 hours per school year. This law presents another alternative for schools to address temporary and substitute teaching needs. It is a significant step in ongoing efforts to address Illinois' teacher shortage. Also, Senate Bill 1115, which allows university police to receive the same disability benefits as city police and provides them with benefits if injured in the line of duty. It is great to see that these bills that passed through both houses were successfully signed into law. Unfortunately, with increasing temperatures and little to no rainfall, this week the latest drought monitor showed that Illinois is seeing the worst drought conditions in a decade. And right now, over 14% of the state is under severe drought conditions. While larger farms and overall crop production has not been significantly impacted yet, smaller farms and specialty farmers are facing either rising damages to crop yields or increasing costs to irrigate. I'm sure everyone, especially including our farmers, are eagerly waiting for some rain. I was able to visit several coffee shops and restaurants this week, and rain was the number one concern in our area for our farmers. Many are eager to see the rain clouds appearing on the horizon. Next week is Mosquito Control and Awareness Week. According to the Illinois Department of Health, there have been reports of positive batches of West Nile virus found in four counties around the state. These counties are Cook, LaSalle, Morgan, and St. Clair. Part of LaSalle County is in our Senate District. So far, no human cases have been reported in Illinois. Common symptoms include fever, nausea, headache, and muscle aches. Symptoms may last from a few days to a few weeks, and most people infected with West Nile virus will not show any symptoms, but in rare cases, it can lead to severe conditions or even death. As the Illinois Department of Public Health is working to control the virus, it encourages the public to fight the bite by practicing the three R's of reduce, repel, and report. For more information on this topic and for other news, please visit SenatorTomBennett.com and on social medias at Facebook.com forward slash Senator Tom Bennett.